everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be setting up my um, Bible journal, kind of like my prayer notebook. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. This is the prayer journal I'm going to be setting up today. It says prayer changes everything. I thought it was perfect for today's video. The only thing I really done in here was add tabs to it. Those are my three sections. I printed off this beautiful page. And these are some of the scrapbook choices that we have for today. They had some really pretty ones. I picked two from here today. I really liked that paper, and that's the one I chose. So this is the paper I ended up picking out. It's this red and orange kind of like watercolor paper. I really love the print of it. Um, and what I'm going to be doing here is kind of coloring these up, making them a little bit more colorful, and kind of pasting them on this paper. Because in my prayer journal or little journal here, I want to make like this page here something where I can make like a pocket and kind of put prayers, um, Bible verses that I really like, and kind of make it like a like a prayer board almost. And I kind of want to make the backing full of pieces like this. So that's what I'm planning on doing. That's kind of what I have going on here. I just wanted to hop on and let you guys know kind of what was going on and what I was planning on doing. This is the scrapbook paper that I ended up using for the pocket. I thought it matched perfectly with the hydrangeas and it ended up working perfectly. I used tape to tape it on and I can add like a paper. So I just got the pocket on. I love how the colors go very nicely together. And I just realized I put the pocket on the back of the book. So it is going to be the other way around with how I'm going to do things. But I think it works out much better because my first section is prayer. So if I can make like a little prayer section or like a little prayer wall in the front of the binder or the book, the notebook, I think it will be much better and it will work out a lot better. But I want to make a little tag or kind of like um, prayer cards to put or like war cards to put in them. And that's kind of what I want to do. Sorry about that, but yeah, that's kind of what I want to do. I kind of want to just make it pretty and make it so it's a place where I want to come and journal and just have fun with the Lord. So that's what I'm going to do. Cut these out and kind of put them on top of here and kind of make it like a little bit of a wall and arrange them very nicely. I have some stickers over here that I can put along the wall. I kind of don't want it to look like... Let me pull it up. I have it in my Bible at the moment. I kind of want it to be like this. And I have made a video on me make doing that to my Bible. So if you guys want to check that out, um, we did do a video on it. So I'm kind of going to cut around these and I'll show you guys them when they're all cut out. So we can have them all put on top of the paper. Got them cut out and these are the ones I ended up using. Then I glued them on after I got it all cut out and that's the arrangement. So I just got them all um, glued down on this beautiful piece of cardstock or scrapbook paper and now I'm going to cut them out and glue them on the page that I have. You can definitely make these into journaling cards as well, but I am not today. Um, I hope this is kind of giving you guys ideas um, on what you can do because there's a lot of different journaling ideas and I'm planning on making a video on how I Bible journal, or yeah, journal in my Bible, but that will be coming pretty soon, so you guys have to be on the lookout for that. I'm loving how they're turning out. They're so pretty. 
I have two more to cut out. I only did four. It's one of my favorite ones. If you guys want um, a printable like this, this was a free printable that I found on Google. Um, all you got to search in is War Binder Printables. And this came up. And I just really loved the sayings on them. And I thought they were really pretty. So I'm going to cut all these out and kind of arrange them on the page. And then I'll glue them down. I've just been using a glue stick. That's really all I've been using. Then I glued them onto the pages and cut them out. And then I went along and put them on the page. Before I put, glued them, I arranged them the way I wanted them. And just got them all together. And that's the arrangement that I ended up choosing. Then I glued them on. Ended up really loving this page. I absolutely love the way that turned out it's so beautiful i love how i can open up the notebook and be surrounded by all these encouraging sayings and even bible verses i think it's so beautiful to have that in the prayer journal i really enjoyed having that in here so i'm really excited to see how um beneficial it is going to be I am very excited about using this. Now, there is a few things I want to do. I have some sticky notes in different colors and sizes. And I know I'm going to use these. And then I have a few different colors and sizes of these. And I just have so many different colors. I want to do like a... Um, Bible verse page in my verses to pray section and this is gonna be beautiful just to have um, to write down my verses that I want to be studying so I'm gonna turn you guys around so you guys can see how that's gonna work these are the sticky notes I ended up using and then I put them on the page so I could write down my favorite verses. I like the way that turned out as well. I really love how I was able to put that in there so I can just write down verses in there and I'll probably do that a few more times but I won't be doing that in today's video. You can see Fluffy laying back there, my cat. But I'm really happy that I was able to get all of these beautiful pages done. I want to thank you guys for coming along with me and spending time with me today. And I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope this maybe gave you some encouragement to get into God's Word. Even to set up your own war binder, war journal, prayer journal, whatever you guys want to call it. I hope that it made you want to make one for yourself because... Writing down your prayers is really, really beneficial. So I just want to thank you guys for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I hope to see you next video, guys. Bye, everyone.